In this video, we will be going over the simple steps to getting started with Moxie Engage. Connecting your email to Moxie Engage, setting your goals, staying in flow with your people by staying in flow on your dashboard, setting up your touch points for neighborhood news, listing announcements, special dates and campaigns, moving through the sales flow, setting up all of your preferences and organizing your people. In upcoming videos, we will be going through each of these items in more detail. When you first access Moxie Engage, you will be given information about the upcoming setup screens. You'll need to sync your email account and set up your gross commission goal for the year. In some cases, you may also have an option to migrate data from an existing CRM. Choose Continue to get started. On this screen, you can choose your email account provider to initiate the sync of your contacts and calendar events with Moxie Engage. In my case, my company provided email is through Office 365. If I select that option, the sync will begin right away. Or I can choose Gmail, which will then let me sign in to my personal free Gmail account. Let's select Gmail and then choose Continue. We'll sign in to our Gmail account. And then provide access for MoxieWorks to our contacts and calendar. Once you have connected your email to Moxie Engage, you will be asked to enter in your first goal. This will either be your gross commission income or sales volume goal, depending on the setting requested by your brokerage. You must enter in a goal to continue. However, you can change this goal at any time. Staying in flow with your people. Now that you've connected your email to Moxie Engage, you'll be able to start working with and staying in flow with all those people that know, like, and trust you. Moxie Engage methodology recommends connecting with your sphere of influence on a regular basis so that you stay top of mind with your people. From the dashboard, Engage will display five people each day for you to connect with. Select how you want to connect with each person from the drop down menu. Either mail a personal note, call, email them, or sign them up for the Neighborhood News Monthly Market Snapshot email. You can also customize which people to display and how often you would like to see their name in this section. Touch points. Next, you'll want to set up additional touch points that allow you to stay in flow with your people without waiting for their name to show up on your dashboard. Touch points include the monthly neighborhood market snapshot email subscription, the just sold or just listed email announcements where you can pre-subscribe those people you wish to receive this information and then send the emails when you choose. And connect with your people on their special dates like their birthday, anniversary or house anniversary by adding these dates to your calendar and setting up reminders. You can also subscribe your people to email campaigns. These collections of emails are created by your brokerage and can be sent on specific days of the year, like a holiday campaign or on a time sequence of your choosing. Moving your people through the sales flow. Moxie Engage helps you do the right thing at the right time by providing a task list for each portion of the life of a transaction. Moving your people through the sales flow not only keeps your transaction on track, but also helps Moxie Engage provide insight on achieving the goal you set. Add a transaction to a person and then mark tasks as complete. Add them to your calendar or delete tasks 
that don't work for this specific transaction. When the zone is completed, move the transaction to the next zone. Marketing is the zone that most of your people will be in and reminds you to keep in flow with them. Prospects hold all of the tasks for people who are looking to buy or sell in the next six to 12 months. Actives are for the part of the transaction where you are actively working with your person, setting up staging and hiring the photographer, or if they are a buyer, finding, viewing, and making an offer on properties. Pending is the last zone of the life of your transaction when you have a mutually agreed upon buyer-seller contract. You can have more than one transaction going for a person at a time, and the task list can be customized for each transaction, or the master task list can be curated to match how you work as an agent. Setting up your preferences. To make the task list fit how you work as an agent, you'll want to access the task manager before moving anyone through the sales flow. Choose either the marketing plan or sales plans to start updating. You can remove a task, add a task, or change the timing of when a task is due. Additional settings in your preferences panel include setting up how and if you want to automate your first communication with the lead, update your default message to your people on their special date, as well as set up reminders for their special day approaching, choose your notification settings, and Grab your neighborhood news sign up link that you can post to social media so your people can sign themselves up for the monthly email. Organizing your people. Now that you've seen the top things you can do in Moxie Engage, it's time to organize your people so you can start connecting with them and moving their transactions through the sales flow. On the My People screen, you'll find the Categorize Wizard. This section allows you to quickly organize where your people should go and engage. You'll be presented with six people at a time. Simply answer the questions as they pop up. Is this person a current or potential client? Or are they not a client at all? If a client, are you currently working with them as a buyer or seller or marketing to them? If marketing to them, one more question will be asked to find out if they have ever been a client in the past. Choose one of these options and create your plan. If your person is not a client, but a family member or friend, or even another agent or vendor you work with, mark them as non-client and then select personal or collaborator. You have now seen the simple steps to getting started with Moxie Engage. We've connected with your email, set our goal, stayed in flow with our people, moved them through the sales flow, set up our preferences, and organized our people.